copy the YouTube, copy the session link, whatever I have sent you in your WhatsApp groups or broadcast or whatever it is, copy that session link and keep it as your WhatsApp status. I know that each and every student knows how to keep a WhatsApp status. We keep so much of other status. Some are relevant, some are probably irrelevant, but still we keep it. But I personally believe that whatever the session which we are taking today is very, very relevant for so many students. Kindly share it, sir. Kindly keep it as your WhatsApp status. My sincere request for each of your each of the 26 people who are watching this class today's session is on a very very important topic mixtures today's session is on mixtures we have already discussed we have already discussed some of the very very good questions on averages i think i took averages close to around one month before if i am not wrong some three weeks before or four weeks before I took averages covering from basic level to intermediate level to some of the advanced level questions also. The topic is usually averages, mixtures and allegations. So averages we have already taken. Mixtures is what we are going to take in today's session. We will see when to take allegations. We will see it in our upcoming classes. We will see it in our upcoming classes, when to take allegations. Hello sir, shall we start the class? Shall we start the class? Kindly comment. Shall we start the class? Before itself I am telling you, I will teach you the basics of mixtures in my problems itself in my problems itself i will teach you the basics of mixtures do not worry about the basic part i am sure that i will make you understand how to solve these questions very easily do not worry about that part Now please see here sir, today we are going to discuss a very very important topic called as mixtures. Extremely important for so many competitive examinations. We will see how beautifully we can solve our problems. We will understand the basics of mixtures also by problem solving so that we will come to know what need to be taken care of to solve a mixture based question. Sir. Now everyone listen to this very carefully sir. Everyone listen to this very carefully. Now, I will start with my first question of today's class. First, let me read the question. Your question is, how many liters of water need to be added to 30 liters of 3 to 1 milk and water solution so that the mixture has milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3? Let us understand the question once again. How many liters of water need to be added? That means there is a vessel. I need to add some liters of water into the vessel. I need to add some liters of water into the vessel. How much is what they are asking you in the question? How many liters of water need to be added to 30 liters of? That means initial volume is given as 30 liters. Initial volume is given as 30 liters. 30 liters of 3 is to 1 milk and water solution. Initial ratio of initial ratio of milk and water it is given as 3 is to 1 so that the mixture has milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3 final ratio of milk and water is nothing but 2 is to 3 again i am explaining you the question in a different way your question is i have initially 30 liters of mixture Mixture is nothing but a combination of both milk and water. Both milk and water together is called as mixture or together is called as solution. So initially 30 liters of mixture is present inside the vessel. Now 
initial ratio of milk and water is given as 3 is to 1 but i don't want the ratio of milk and water to be equal to 3 is to 1 i want it to be 2 is to 3 finally to convert 3 is to 1 ratio milk and water for 2 is to 3 ratio milk and water i need to add some water how much water needs to be added so that initial ratio of 3 is to 1 will finally become 2 is to 3 ratio for an initial volume of 30 liters. Now, listen to this very, very carefully, sir. The key point used in this kind of problems is, what is the key point that I will be using? The key point that I will be using in this kind of problems is, always work with, always work with the parameter, always work with the parameter, which is unaffected. Always work with the parameter which is unaffected. Everyone first listen to this carefully. Always work with the parameter which is unaffected. Now, what is the meaning of this statement? That means there is one parameter which is affected. There is another parameter which is unaffected. You should work with the parameter which is unaffected. That means, I can I say that C1, V1 will be equal to C2, V2, where C1 and C2 are initial and final concentrations. Initial and final concentrations, V1 and V2 are initial and final volumes, right? V1 and V2 are initial and final volumes. Always work with the parameter which is unaffected. Now, I am adding water inside the vessel. I am adding water into the vessel. If I add water, water quantity will get affected because I am adding water into the vessel. If I add water, water will get affected. What is not affected? Milk is not affected. The meaning of milk is not affected means how much ever milk was present earlier before I added water, finally also the same quantity of milk will be present because I am not adding any extra milk into the vessel. I am adding water into the vessel. That means the parameter which is action. Take the initial ratio. Initial ratio is 3 is to 1. The meaning of 3 is to 1 is out of total 3 plus 1, out of total 4 units, 3 units belongs to milk. Sir, why are you taking milk parameter? Because milk is the parameter which is unaffected. V1. V1 is... 2 liters belongs to milk. Again, why am I taking milk? Because milk is the parameter which is unaffected. V2 is nothing but the full. Finally, it becomes 30 plus W. Finally, it becomes 30 plus W. If I cross multiply and simplify, there is only one unknown variable present in the question. If I cross multiply and simplify, I will get the answer for W as 26.25 liters and I am sure that you know how to cross multiply and simplify because this is something which is taught in our school days. I believe that the first problem is very very clear. Do not worry about it. This problem, whatever the methodology which we have used in our first problem, we have used a methodology of algebra because we are using variable w and we are creating an equation and we are cross multiplying simplifying shifting here and there and then getting the value of that unknown variable w this is a variable equation methodology and we are not interested with this method we will very soon shift to a different methodology which does not require any equation to be formed i hope the first problem is clear now listen to the second problem sir please see the second problem there is a reason behind taking all these questions you will understand when i keep taking the problems very clearly you will understand the flow of the class now your second question is 68 liters of milk was added that means there is a vessel there is a vessel i am adding 68 liters of milk into the vessel in the previous question this parameter was asked as how many liters of water was added in this question that parameter value is given in the question 68 liters of milk was added to 3 is to 7 milk to water solution that means in 
final ratio of milk and water it is nothing but 7 is to 5 what is the volume of the original solution that means they are asking you the initial volume i will call the initial volume as capital v that capital v value is what we need to find now listen to this carefully sir same logic i'll implement once again always work with the parameter which is unaffected what is not affected in this question i am adding milk into the vessel if i add milk water quantity will not get affected milk will get affected water will not get affected so i will work with water in this question c1 v1 is in this question v2 is nothing but final volume Initially, there was V liters inside the vessel. It is there on left hand side and right hand side. Shift that V value to one of the sides. Any one of the sides. Cross multiply here and there. Shift it. Finally, you will get the value of V for this particular question as 100 liters. You will get the value of V for this particular question as 100 liters. That shift the second question of this class where I am using this variable methodology. This is my method 1. Method 1 is good to solve. Definitely make sure that you are using variables, you are creating an equation and you are trying to get the answer from that equation. Now, we are not interested with this method 1. Now, see here, method 2. Method 2. Everyone listen to this carefully, sir. Method 2. Same question I am writing again. I am adding 68 liters of milk. 68 liters of milk is added inside the vessel. Initial volume I don't know. That is what we are finding. Initial ratio of milk and water. It is given in the question as 3 is to 7. 3 is to 7 is the initial ratio of milk and water. Final ratio of milk and water. It is nothing but 7 is to 5. Right? Final ratio of milk and water is 7 is to 5. Now see here. Can I say that? Can I say that? I am adding milk parameter inside the vessel. If, if I, I add, add milk, milk inside, inside the, the vessel, milk will get changed. Milk will get changed. Water will not be affected. That means, what is the meaning of water will not be affected? Water will not be affected means, how much our water is present initially? How much our water is present initially? Same amount of water should be present finally also. That means, how much our water is present initially? Same amount of water should be present finally also. But the ratio says, initially 7 liters of water is present. Finally, 5 liters of water is present. They both should be actually same. But they both are not same in this case. I believe that you are able to understand the logic. Actually, they both should be same. Because water is not affected, actually 7 and 5 should be same, but they are not same. Make it as same. How will you make 7 and 5 as the same number? It is nothing but the LCM. LCM multiply by 7. That means 3 into 5 is 15. 7 into 5 is 35. 7 into 7 is 49. 5 into 7 is 35. Now, if you observe carefully, water in both the parameters, initial and final concentrations, water is the same value 35. Water is not affected. Now, if you observe carefully, initially, finally, 49 liters of milk is present. That means how much extra milk I added to make it 49. 15 is becoming 49. How much extra milk I added? That means according to the ratio, I am adding 34 liters of milk. According to ratio, I am adding 34 liters of milk. According to the question it is given as, I am adding 68 liters of milk. 34 liters is becoming 68 liters. Multiply by 2. 34 into 2 is 68. Your question is 50 liters. According to the question they are asking you how much. This 50 also multiply by 2. 50 into 2 is nothing but 100. Answer for this question is 100 liters by using method 2. Which is the same answer what you got in method 1 also by using variable methodology.
I hope the idea is very very clear sir as i proceed with more and more questions i believe that it will be very very comfortable for you please keep on listening to all the problems there is a flow which is connecting from problem to problem to problem and you will understand that flow very easily as i proceed with more and more questions now you might get a doubt sir 7 and 5 they both should be same you you might get a doubt 7 and 5 they both should be same but they are not same so we made it as same in this question what if already those values are given same in the question then it is even more easy right i don't even have to multiply with any other number for example see this question 66 liters of water was added that means there is a vessel i am adding 66 liters of water inside the vessel to 5 is to 1 milk to water solution so initial ratio is given as 5 is to 1 milk and water so the ratio of milk and water in the resultant solution is 5 is to 3 final ratio of milk and water it is nothing but 5 is to 3 what is the volume of the original solution initial volume is what they are asking in the question which i will call it as v this is exactly similar to my previous question there is no difference but in this question i am adding water inside the vessel if i add water inside the vessel milk parameter will not get affected water will get affected milk is not getting affected so what i can say is because milk is not affected how much ever milk is present initially same quantity of milk should also be present finally that means according to ratio initially milk is 5 liters according to ratio finally milk is also 5 liters they both are becoming same and that is what the concept also says that means in my previous question they both were not same i made it as same but in this question they both are same already so i don't need to make it same once again it is already same that means can i say that according to ratio initially it was 1 liter of water finally it is 3 liters of water 1 liter water became 3 liter water that means i added extra 2 liters of water according to ratio but according to question i am adding 66 liters of water extra 2 is becoming 60 66 multiply by 33 find the initial volume with the question according to the ratio initial volume is 5 plus 1 which is 6 liters according to ratio it is 6 liters according to question they are asking you how much 6 also multiply by 33 6 into 33 is 198 liters if you observe carefully i am not using any equation to solve this kind of questions which is my method to i hope the idea is very very clear for you sir slowly 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 i will scale up the level of difficulty some good questions i am going to discuss in today's class shruti is the sound not clear ma is the audio not clear let me remove and replug it once again whether it is clear or not let me remove and replug it once again please check for the audio right now i think audio should be clear right now is the audio clear now shruti please comment Please see the next question. 
please see this next question your question is two alloys containing copper and iron in the ratio 5 is to 8 and 5 is to 3 are melted in equal quantities very very important statement or word in this question is equal quantities they are melted in equal quantities that means there are two alloys alloy 1 and alloy 2 and they are saying that copper and iron they are in the ratio in alloy 1 as 5 is to 8 in alloy 2 it is 5 is to 3 and they are saying that they are melted in equal quantity what is the ratio of iron and copper in the resultant alloy what is the ratio of iron and copper in the resultant alloy now see here what is that they are saying in this question these two alloys of copper and iron of 5 is to 8 and 5 is to 3 they are melted in equal quantities it seems what is the meaning of equal quantities the meaning of equal quantities means in alloy 1 there is 5 units of copper there are 8 units of iron so totally alloy 1 has 5 units plus 8 units which is 13 units alloy 2 has 5 units of copper and 3 units of iron totally alloy 2 is having 5 plus 3 8 units Question says alloy 1 and alloy 2 they should be melted in equal quantities but 13 and 8 are they in equal quantities no 13 and 8 are not equal equal quantity means it should be 1 is to 1 ratio finally after they are mixed or melted 13 and 8 they are not equal but question says they should be made equal so I want to make these two numbers 13 and 8 as equal numbers that means I need to make them as same number means I should take LCM LCM of 13 and 8 is 104 multiply 13 with 8 multiply 8 with 13 that means multiply 5 and 8 with 8 multiply 5 and 3 with 13 so if I rephrase my diagram alloy 1 and alloy 2 copper and iron 5 and 8 multiplied with new multiplying factor 8 5 into 8 40 8 into 8 64 40 plus 64 is 104 5 into 13 is 65 3 into 13 is 39 65 plus 39 is also 104 so if you observe carefully 104 is to 104 it is nothing but equal quantity 1 is to 1 they are asking you the ratio of iron and copper in the resultant alloy copper is nothing but 40 plus 65 which is 105 iron is 64 plus 39 which is 103 iron is to copper is what they require answer is 103 is to 105 answer is 103 is to 105 i hope the idea is very very clear for you sir suppose for example if i reverse it what is this question telling you about in this question they are telling you about 13 is to 8 is the ratio but you should make the 13 is to ratio 8 ratio as equal ratio 1 is to 1 that means this question is telling you about the question they are not given in equal quantities but you should make it equal please see the next question it is the reverse the second question the next question says two solutions containing milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 2 are mixed in the ratio 1 is to 4 that means there are two solution solution 1 and solution 2 two solutions has milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 2 if you observe carefully right now 2 is to 3 means 2 units of milk and 3 units of water totally 5 liters in solution 1 totally 3 plus 2 5 liters in solution 2 now 5 is to 5 is nothing but equal quantity it is there in equal quantity in this question but they don't want you to keep it keep it in equal quantity they want you to mix it in the ratio of 1 is to 4 i believe that you are able to understand the logic in the previous question the ratios were not equal but you should make it equal in this question the ratios are equal 
but you should make it unequal in what ratio they want you to do it sir in the ratio of 1 is to 4 multiply that first one by 1 second one by 4 that means solution 1 solution 2 if i rephrase the diagram 2 is to 3 multiplied with 1 is again 2 is to 3 3 is to 2 multiplied with 4 3 into 4 is 12 2 into 4 is 8 so if you check 2 plus 3 is 5, 12 plus 8 is 20, 5 is to 20 is nothing but 1 is to 4, which they are asking you in the question. Find the final ratio of milk and water in the resultant mixture. Milk finally is 2 plus 12, 14. Water finally is 3 plus 8, 11. Answer is 14 is to 11. Simple way of problem solving. Let us not make it complicated. Easily we will solve the questions. Please see the next question. Your next question is. Two vessels contain milk and water in the ratio 9 is to 7 and 5 is to 11 that means there are two vessels milk and water is given in the ratio 9 is to 7 and 5 is to 11 that means they are saying that first vessel has milk and water totally how much you have according to ratio 9 plus 7 is 16 units second vessel has milk and water as 5 and 11 5 plus 11 is also 16 now read the next statement if the if the both vessels are mixed in the ratio 1 is to 1. If both the vessels are mixed in the ratio 1 is to 1, find the ratio of milk and water in the new mixture. Now, both the vessels, they should be mixed in the ratio 1 is to 1. 16 is to 16. It is already there in the ratio 1 is to 1. 16 is to 16 is nothing but equal to 1 is to 1. Because they are already there in the ratio 1 is to 1, you need to find, you don't need to calculate any other things, but you need to calculate the final final ratio of milk and water milk finally is 9 plus 5 is 14 7 plus 11 is 18 14 is to 18 can be further simplified as 7 is to 9 in the question they are already they are saying in the question that it should be mixed in the ratio 1 is to 1 but they are already in the ratio 1 is to 1 what if they are not in the ratio 1 is to 1 that I have already solved before or I am going to again solve in my next problem. Please see this question sir. Few questions are only for your understanding. I am repeating same varieties of questions so that you will understand it better and so that you will solve it. You will solve it. Now see here. Listen. Two vessels contain milk and water in the ratio 7 is to 8 and 13 is to 5 milk and water are there in the ratio 7 is to 8 and 13 is to 5 so 7 plus 8 is 15 13 plus 5 is 18 initially 15 liters of mixture is present in vessel 1 18 liters of mixture is present in vessel 2 that is the first statement if both vessels are mixed in the ratio 1 is to 1 both vessels need to be mixed in the ratio 1 is to 1 but 15 is to 18 15 is to 18 is not equal to 1 is to 1 but you should make it equal to 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 is nothing but both should be same numbers 15 and 18 which number can i make it 15 and 18 as same number lcm of 15 and 18 lcm of 15 and 18 it is nothing but 90 so 15 into 6 is 90 these two values also multiply by 6 18 into 5 is 90 these two values also multiply by 5 now my new values becomes 6 into 7 is 42 6 into 8 is 48 42 plus 48 is 90 for your information 5 into 13 is 65 
फाइव इंटू फाइव इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज आलो नई अबर्व केरफुली नई टू नई इज नथिंग बट वन इज टू वन विच दे आर् आस्किंग यू इन द क्वेश्चन फैंड द रेशियो आफ मि अंड वाटर इन न्यू मिक्चर इन द न्यू मिक्चर मिल फार्टी टू प्लस सिक्सटी फाइव विच इज नथिंग बट हंड्रेड एंड सेवन फार्टी एट प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव विच इज नथिंग बट सेवेंटी थ्री दिस इज मई आंसर we will discuss some initial basic levels slowly slowly we will scale up the level please see this question another similar kind of questions for your better understanding a and b are two alloys of tin and copper prepared by mixing metals in proportions 13:11 and 5:7 respectively that means there are two alloys a and b tin and copper it is given in the ratio as 13:11 for alloy a and 5:7 for alloy b right this is what the first statement says so 13 plus 11 totally 24 units is present in alloy a 5 plus 7 totally 12 units is present in alloy b this is what i can understand next statement if equal quantities of two alloys melted to form a third alloy c I am trying to form a third alloy C in this case by making it as equal quantities. That means twenty four and twelve they are not equal. But the question says please make it as equal. What is the number which can be made as the same number from both twenty four and twelve? It is nothing but LCM of twenty four and twelve. LCM of twenty four and twelve is it is twenty four. So twenty four should become twenty four. Multiply by one. These two values also multiply by one. Twelve should become twenty-four. Multiply by two. These two also multiply by two. If I rewrite it, so A and B alloys. One into thirteen is to eleven is thirteen is to eleven. Two into five is ten. Two into seven is fourteen. Now they are trying to form a new mixture, new alloy C. This alloy C is nothing but. Combination of alloy A and alloy B. Find the proportion of tin and copper in alloy C. So tin is nothing but 13 plus 10. It is 23. Copper is nothing but 11 plus 14. It is 25. Similar kind of questions what we have solved in our previous questions. please see this question sir please see this question your question is two vessels contain milk water in the ratio 5 is to 9 and 7 is to 11 that means there are two vessels milk and water is given in the ratio of it is given in the ratio of 5 is to 9 right it is given as it is given as 5 is to 9 and the second one it is given as 7 is to 11 right second one is given as 7 is to 11 so 5 plus 9 is 14 7 plus 11 is 18 right this is what we can understand from the first statement if both vessels are mixed in the ratio 4 is to 3 that means both the vessels should be mixed in the ratio 4 is to 3 now whatever the mixture that you are doing this mixture should be in the ratio how much it should be in the ratio 4 is to 3 they are not saying you to keep that mixture in the ratio 1 is to 1 like our previous problems they are not asking you to keep it in equal ratios or they are not asking you to keep it in 1 is to 1 ratio they want the ratio to be 4 is to 3 find the ratio of milk and water in the new mixture now forget about 4 is to 3 sir forget about 4 is to 3 let us first make it as 
वन इज टू वन लेट अस फर्स्ट मेक इट एज वन इज टू वन वन इज टू वन मीन दे बोथ शुड बी ईक्वल नंबर विच वी नो हाउ टू मेक इट फ्रॉम अवर प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम फोर्टीन एंड एटीन शुड बी मेड एज द सेम नंबर द एल सी एम ऑफ फोर्टीन एंड एटीन इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स फोर्टीन इंटू नाइन इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स एटीन इंटू सेवन इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स दट मीन नौ ई मलटिप्लेड नईन एंड सेवन सो दट फोर्टीन एंड एटीन बोथ बिकेम द सेम नंबर विच इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स नौ वे ई मलटिप्लेड बै नईन एंड सेवन इट बिकेम वन इज टू वन रेशो आर इट बिकेम ईक्वल रेशो बट द रेशो शुड नाट बी इन ईक्वल रेशो इट शुड बी इन द रेशो ऑफ फोर इज टू थ्री नौ मेक दट ऐस फोर इज टू थ्री मलटिप्लै दिस बै फोर multiply this by 3 i believe that you are able to understand the logic i hope that you are able to understand it so easily sir that means can i say that instead of multiplying directly by 9 into 4 and 7 into 3 which i will find it little difficult to do it first make it as equal values first make it as equal ratio then whatever the mixture they are asking multiply by that value now even more to simplify our problem to little more easier extent this is 3 into 1 this is 3 into 3 that means in simple language this value of 14 is multiplied with 3 into 4 12 or this both values are multiplied with 12 similarly this value of 18 is multiplied with 7 into 1 or these both values are multiplied with 7 if i rewrite it 12 into 5 is 60 12 into 9 is 108 if you check 60 plus 108 is 168 7 into 7 is 49 7 into 11 is 77 49 plus 77 is 126 check it out if you want 126 is to sorry 168 is to 126 will definitely be in the ratio of 4 is to 3 if you want you can check it out final ratio of milk and water is 60 plus 49 it is 109 108 plus 77 it is 185 this should be my final answer whenever they want you to keep it in some ratio other than the equal ratio first make it as equal ratio and then convert it to whatever the ratio they are asking simple now before moving on to the next problem listen carefully here sir before moving on to the next problem i am sure that you have attended my fraction to percentages conversions even if you have not attended you should definitely know all those fraction to percentages conversions in that one of the fraction to percentage which i did not discuss is 46.66 percentage how to convert 46.66 percentage to fractional value 46.66 can be written as 30 percentage Plus 16.66 or 67, whatever it is, 16.67 percentage. 30 percentage is 3 by 10. 16.66 percentage. I taught you in my fraction to percentage as yes? 1 by 6. If I take the LCM, 10 and 6 LCM is 30. It is 30. So it is 10 into 3, 6 into 5. 3 into 3, 9. 5 into 1, 5. So it is nine plus five, fourteen. Fourteen is nothing but fourteen by thirteen is nothing but seven by fifteen. So whenever some values which are given in the question, which we have not discussed, you can derive it whenever you require. Because some other values we have discussed as sixteen point six six as one by six and something else. Right? I hope the idea is clear. Similarly, we also know that. 55.55 percentage. We have discussed in our fraction to percentage as yes. denom. Question is a multiple of 11, so denominator should be 9. Question is five times of 11, so numerator should be 5. All these things we have already discussed. All these things we have already discussed earlier. I believe that the idea is clear. Now see here. Please see my next question, sir. Please see this question. Your question is. Let us first read the question. Understand it. Two vessels contain mixture of milk and water. That means there are two vessels. There are two vessels containing mixture of milk and water. Mixture one and mixture two. 
milk and water ratio i need to give it now let us check it out what is that ratio in first mixture milk is 46.66 percentage that means can i say that in the mixture one in the first mixture they are saying that milk is 46.66 percentage 46.66 percentage i told you sometime before as it is 7 by 15 what is the meaning of 7 by 15 the meaning of 7 by 15 is denominator always represent the total value total mixture is 15 liters total mixture is 15 liters out of total 15 7 liters belongs to milk parameter that means 7 liter is milk total is 15 that means water should be remaining 8 7 plus 8 only is total 15 right so total value is 15 means out of 15 7 belongs to milk so 7 is to 8 should be the ratio of milk and water and in the second mixture water is 55.55 percentage mixture 2 they are giving it as water value they are giving it as 55.55 which is 5 by 9 the meaning of 5 by 9 is denominator represents total total mixture is 9 liters total mixture is 9 liters out of that water will represent 5 liters if water is 5 liters and total is 9 liters milk should be how much milk should be remaining 4 liters so we understood the meaning or we understood how to find the ratio of milk and water in both the mixtures now read the next statement if both vessels are mixed in the ratio 7 is to 6 this mixture 1 and mixture 2 they both are mixed and you will form another mixture called as mixture 3 that mixture 3 ratio should be 7 is to 6 find the ratio of milk and water in the new mixture now see here sir can i say that can i say that the ratio whatever they are mixing that mixing ratio should be in the ratio of 7 is to 6 now i already taught you in my previous question that whenever they are asking you some other ratio other than the equal ratio first make it equal ratio that means 15 and 9 are the values which are there they are not equal first make 15 and 9 equal the lcm of 15 and 9 is 45 so 15 into 3 is 45 9 into 5 is 45 now they are in equal ratio I believe it is clear. 15 into 3 45, 9 into 5 is 45. 45 is to 45 is equal ratio. Now they are in equal ratio, but they don't want you to make it in equal ratio. They want it in the ratio of 7 is to 6. Multiply by 7, multiply second value by 6. Now I can further simplify this ratio because this ratio is this is 3 is to 6 ratio. 3 into 1, 3 into 2 further can be simplified. That means this 15 should be multiplied with 7 or in other words, these two values should be multiplied with 7. This is 9 should be multiplied with 5 times of 2 which is 10 or these two values should be multiplied with 10. If I rewrite the diagram, if I rewrite the diagram, milk and water is 7 into 7 is 49, 7 into 8 is 56. 10 into 4 is 40, 10 into 5 is 50. Now check it out if you want. 49 plus 56 is 105, 40 plus 50 is 90. Definitely this is in the ratio of 7 is to 6. 15 into 7 is 105, 15 into 6 is 90. They are in the ratio 7 is to 6, which is what they have asked in the question. Now, final mixture ratio is. 49 and 40 milk is totally 89 56 and 50 milk is totally 106 answer is 89 is to 106 i believe that it is very very clear for you if it is given in terms of fraction or percentage how to write the ratio equivalent i believe it is very very clear for you sir
नेक्स्ट बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सम थिंग्स दट यू नीड टू नो लिजन केरफुल सर देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स दट यू नीड टू नो दिस ई आलरे डिस्कस्ड इन मई डी ई क्लास आलो डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन आलो दिस ई डिस्कस्ड बिकॉज इट वाज एक्सट्रीमली यूजफुल देर हियर आलो इट इज रिक्वर्ड नौ सी हियर सर सपोज लेट मी गिव सम वैल्यूज फॉर ए एंड बी सपोज ए इज फिफ्टी जस्ट सम एक्सापल ऐम टेकिंग सो दट ई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू वित् न्यूमरिकल वैल्यूज बी इज फार्टी सपोज युवर फस्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाट वाट What is a percentage of? What is a percentage of B? Suppose this is the first question. Second question is, a is, a is what percentage of? A is what percentage of B? Third question, B is what percentage of A? B is what percentage of A? Suppose let us take these three questions initially, and then we will solve another one or two questions for the same logic. Now see here, sir. Very very simple logic. There are only two variables. One variable is a, which the value is given as 50. Another variable is b, where the value is given as 40. Now there are only two variables. What I will only say you is there is something written as off here, right? There is something written as off. Off is nothing but direct comparison. That is something which you need to remember. Off is nothing but direct comparison. Sir, what is the meaning of this direct comparison? Simple. What is a percentage of B? You don't need to take it as x and all those things and waste your time. Simple language. Whatever is coming after off. Whatever the variable which is coming after off. That should come in the denominator. What is coming after off in the first question? B is coming after off in the first question. That B value should come in the denominator. Simple way of remembering. B value should come in the denominator. Then, sir, then what is the numerator? Numerator is nothing but directly write the other variable. That is the reason I wrote here. Off is nothing but a direct comparison. That means directly write the other variable in the numerator. Your numerator is nothing but the other variable a. Similarly, second question: What is coming after off? B is coming, and because off is given in the question, directly write the other variable in the numerator. Again, second question is a by b. A by b is nothing but 50 by 40. 50 by 40 is 5 by 4. Five by four is nothing but one hundred and twenty-five percentage, right? So that is something which I am not teaching you here. B is what percentage of A? After of which variable is coming? A is coming. So A is coming. Keep that A in the denominator. Direct because it is off. Directly write the other variable in the numerator. Other variable is B. So it is forty by fifty four by five. Four by five is eighty percentage. Now. This is when off is given in the question. Suppose, for example, your question is, your question is, A is, A is what percentage? A is what percentage more than B? A is what percentage more than B? Now listen carefully, sir. Very very interesting. Another learning from this question. Off what we learnt. Off is nothing but direct comparison. Here I am getting than. Than is nothing but difference comparison. Simple sir. Off is direct comparison. Than is difference comparison. Simple way of remembering. Off is nothing but direct comparison. Than is nothing but difference comparison. That means here also same thing. Whatever is coming after than. Should come in the denominator. Write that B in the denominator because B is coming after than. What should be numerator? Numerator you should not write directly the other variable because question is not given in terms of of. Question is given in terms of than. Than means the difference comparison. That means numerator should be the difference of A and B. Whichever is greater, write it first. So it is A minus B. I believe that the idea is clear, right? A minus B by B. So it is nothing but 10 divided by 40. 1 by 4 is 25%. Suppose if your question is B is 
B is what percentage less than A? B is what percentage less than A? Same logic. After than whatever is coming, put it in the denominator. Write A in the denominator. Than is nothing but difference comparison. Numerator should be the difference of A and B. Which is greater? A value is greater than B in the question. So numerator is A minus B. Simple 2 to 3 statement that you need to remember is whatever comes after of or whatever comes after than. Please write it in the denominator. That is the first point. Second point is whenever it is off, numerator is direct comparison. Directly write the other variable which is not written. Whenever the question is given in terms of than, numerator will represent the difference comparison where it is greater number minus the smaller number. Now, this is something which you need to know. How to use this key point? in our problem solving now see here sir two vessels contain mixture of milk and water that means there are two vessels mixture of milk and water is present in both the vessels okay that is what we understood milk and water mixture so this is mixture one this is mixture two if i write like my previous question now in the next statement in first mixture milk is 31.25 percentage less than water that means let me write it here they are saying that in the first mixture milk is milk is 31.25 percentage less than water less than water that means can i say that milk is 31.25 percentage 31.25 first of all for your information it is 5 into 6.25 percentage 6.25 i taught you in my fraction to percentages as 1 by 16 5 into 1 by 16 is it is 5 by 16 that means milk is 5 by 16 less than water milk is 5 by 16 less than water can i say like this sir can i say that whatever is coming after than water is coming after than that should represent the denominator that means the denominator is representing water parameter water parameter is 16 water parameter is 16 now because it is than than is nothing but difference comparison numerator represents the difference between milk and water difference between milk and water is 5 units that means can i say that milk is water is 16 units water is 16 units and milk is less than water so you can get it out sir milk can be 16 minus 5 which is 11 or milk can be 16 plus 5 which is 21 there also difference is 5 only but milk is less or in simple language can i say if you are getting confused with that kind of statement milk is denominator is water 16 milk is 16 less less is nothing but from 16 there is a decrease of 5 from 16 if i decrease by 5 milk value will be 11 so milk is 11 water is 16 that is your mixture 1 see the second statement and in mixture 2 the difference between quantity of milk and water is 11.11 percentage of total mixture that means in mixture 2 the difference between quantity of milk and water they are saying that the difference is difference is 11.11 percentage of total mixture 11.11 percentage is nothing but 1 by 9 the meaning of 1 by 9 is denominator whatever is coming after of that should come in the denominator so total represents 9 totally 9 liters of mixture is present of is direct comparison that means numerator will represent the other parameter other parameter in this question is nothing but difference between milk and water that means milk and water difference should be how much it should be one can i say that total it should be nine difference it should be one total it should be nine difference it should be one that means so milk will be five water will be four 
then only the total is 9 5 plus 4 and the difference of milk and water is 5 minus 4 1 so milk is 5 water is 4 some of the tricky questions sir i am believing that you are understanding all these methodologies now read the next statement again the next statement is if 10.5 liters of first mixture and 7.5 liters of second mixture is mixed that means they are saying that 10.5 liters of first mixture and 7.5 liters of second mixture is mixed or in other words can i say the statement as the mixture 1 and mixture 2 are mixed in the ratio of 10.5 liters is to 17.5 liters 10.5 is 3.5 into 3 17.5 is 3.5 into 5 that means in our previous question they were saying directly as the both the mixtures are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 5 instead of saying like that directly they are indirectly saying as if 10.5 liters of mixture 1 and 17.5 liters of mixture 2 is mixed so you can convert it like this as the two mixtures mixture 1 and mixture 2 are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 5 then find the ratio of milk and water in the new mixture now i already taught you how to find this kind of a problem solving can i say that can i say that 11 plus 16 is totally 27 let me write here sir 11 plus 16 is totally 27 5 plus 4 is totally 9 so but 27 and 9 they are not equal but they should make it they, you should make it in the ratio of 3 to 5 first of all make them as equal ratio 27 and 9 should become equal so make it as 27 27 into 1 is 27 9 into 3 is 27 now 27 into 1 27 9 into 3 is also 27 you made it equal ratio but they should not they are not asking you to make it equal they are asking you to mix it in the ratio of 3 is to 5 multiply first one by 3 second one by 5 if i further simplify this ratio 3 and 3 will cancel that means this 27 you should multiply only with 1 or in other words 11 is to 16 you should multiply with 1 it is 11 is to 16 this 9 you should multiply only with 5 or this 5 is to 4 you should multiply with 5 5 into 5 is 25 4 into 5 is 20 the resultant mixture is 11 plus 25 is 36 and then 16 plus 30 20 is also 36 the new mixture is having the ratio of 36 is to 36 which is 1 is to 1 very very excellent questions being solved in the most easiest way possible there is no other possibility Aryan where will you have other possibility 5 by 16 milk is 5 by 16 less than milk is 5 by 16 less than water denominator is water water is 16 milk should be 5 less than 16 that means the milk should be 11 only right 5 is to 4 which one you are asking for the second one there is no possibility for second one also to be other values the difference should be 1 and the sum should be 9 sum should be 9 if you solve simultaneous equation also 2m is equal to 10 m is equal to 5 water is 4 these are the this is the only case which is possible Raj Shekhar, this is the fourth question I am explaining same logic. Do not keep asking the same doubt. One last time I am explaining. I am telling that I want to make it in the ratio 3 is to 5. Finally, I want to make it as 3 is to 5 ratio. First, make it as 1 is to 1 ratio and then multiply by 3 is to 5. Because 1 is to 1 is to 3 is to 5 is 3 is to 5 only, right? Fourth question I am explaining of similar model Ratshaka. Please keep your ears open for each and every question.
please see the next question sir please see the next question the ratio now in all the questions whatever we have discussed till now it was only of two containers or two vessels now we are taking a question where it is of three vessels the ratio of milk to water in three containers of equal capacity that means the capacity of all the three containers should be equal so it is given as 3 is to 2 7 is to 3 and 11 is to 4 respectively that means first container is 3 is to 2 next is 7 is to 3 next is 11 is to 4 so 3 plus 2 is 5 7 plus 3 is 10 11 plus 4 is 15 but the question says equal capacity 5 10 15 they are not equal make it as equal the lcm of 5 10 15 it is nothing but 30 5 into 6 is 30 these two values also multiply by 6 10 into 3 is 30 these two values also multiply by 3 15 into 2 is 30 11 and 4 also multiply by 2 rephrase rephrase the question says the contents of three containers are mixed together what is the ratio of milk and water after mixing so it is 6 into 3 is to 2 18 is to 12 3 into 7 is to 3 it is 21 is to 9 2 into 11 is to 4 it is 22 is to 8 if you want check it out 18 plus 12 is 20 sorry 18 plus 12 is 30 21 plus 9 is 30 22 plus 8 is also 30 they are having equal quantity which is actually given in the question the resultant is 18 plus 21 plus 22 it is nothing but 61 12 plus 8 is 20 plus 9 is 29 answer is 61 is to 29 answer is 61 is to 29 two containers is what we have solved in the previous few questions now i am taking it for a three container it really does not make any difference suppose for example see here suppose same logic once again for your better understanding proportion of milk and water in three samples is 2 is to 1 3 is to 2 and 5 is to 3 so it is 2 is to 1 3 is to 2 5 is to 3 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 3 5 and 8 i should take the lcm lcm of 3 5 and 8 lcm of 3 5 and 8 it is nothing but equal to 3 into 5 into 8 because i told you that lcm of co prime numbers 3 5 and 8 all are co primes hcf of 3 5 and 8 is 1 lcm of co prime numbers is product of their numbers that means 3 should become 3 into 5 into 8 multiply by 5 into 8 5 should become 5 into 3 into 8 multiply by 3 into 8 8 should become 3 into 5 into 8 multiply by 3 into 5 i believe you are understanding that means 5 into 8 i am multiplying 40 for the first value 2 is to 1 is to 40 it is 40 is to sorry it is 80 is to 40 right it is 80 is to 40 similarly 3 is to 2 i should multiply with 3 into 8 24 24 into 3 it is 72 24 into 2 it is 45 check it out if you want 80 plus 40 is 120 72 plus 48 is 120 75 plus 45 is also 120 i am making it equal now the resultant is what they are asking find the ratio of water and milk in the mixture 80 plus 72 plus of 75 it is 227 40 plus 48 plus 45 it is 133 this is the milk and water ratio question is asked for water and milk ratio reverse it milk and water if it is 227 is to 133 water and milk should be reversed it is 133 is to 227 this should be my answer please see the next question next question is also similar model but the way they ask the question slightly differs sir that is where you should understand that is exactly the reason you should understand how you need to take it forward in three vessels each of 39.6 liters capacity that means all the three vessels all the three vessels are capacity of 39.6 liters now you will think that 
देर इज समथिंग दट ई नीड टू डू विद दिस नंबर कॉल्ड एज थर्टी नईन पॉइंट सिक्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली थर्टी नईन पॉइंट सिक्स इज ए डेसीमल नंबर एंड इफ ई यूज डेसीमल ई विल कीप स्ट्रगलिंग इन मई सिंप्लीफिकेशन सो यू विल थिंक दट इट्स ए स्लैटली डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन दट ईज वेर द एक्सामर विल ट्रई टू ट्रैप गिविंग दिस कैंड आफ क्वेश्चन इन द एक्साम सिंपल कामन से ईच आफ थर्टी नईन पॉइंट सिक्स लीटर्स कैपैसीटी मीन आल आर् ईक्वल रेशियो every vessel every vessel is having the same capacity the ratio is equal that is the meaning i should make the ratio equal that is what i want i am nowhere concerned about this number called as 39.6 let this 39.6 be any other number suppose instead of 39.6 if they give some number in the examination paper as 52.5714286714 liters i will not even bother about that number it is a junk value for me what you should understand is it's an equal ratio question simple once you understand that problem becomes very easy mixture of milk and water is filled the ratio of mix, uh, milk and water are 3 1 2 3 4 5 is 20 20 into 7 is 140 that means 4 should become 4 into 5 into 7 multiply by 5 into 7 5 should become 4 into 5 into 7 multiply by 4 into 7 7 should become 4 into 5 into 7 multiply by 4 into 5 3 is to 1 is multiplied with 35 so this becomes 3 into 35 1 into 35 2 is to 3 is multiplied with 4 into 7 28 so 2 into 28 is 56 2 into 28 is 56 3 into 28 is 84 4 is to 3 is multiplied with 20 4 into 5 is 20 4 into 20 is 80 3 into 20 is 60 check it out they are of equal ratio 105 is to 35 is 140 Plus 35 is 140. In fact, 56 plus 84 is 140. 80 plus 60 is 140. Sir, should I not convert it back to 39.6? No, it is not required. The meaning of that statement is that they are saying that all should be equal. Simple. Don't complicate, sir. The final ratio is 105 plus 56 plus 80. It is 241. 35 plus 84 plus 60. It is 179. This should be my final answer. now please see the next question if you remember in our two vessels or two mixtures problems which we solved 15 20 minutes before the ratio were mixed in some ratio other than the equal ratio now what if it is three vessels or three containers mixed in some other ratio what we solved the previous question is three vessels are mix, mixed in same ratio three vessels are mixed in same ratio ratio in my previous question what if they are mixed in different ratio it really does not make any difference i already taught you for two vessels apply the same logic once again here that means please see this question sir three containers have their volumes in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 that means i should mix the three mixtures in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 later on that i will take care of it later right that i will take care of it later now see here the next statement says they are full of mixtures of milk and water that means milk and water is what is present in all the three containers the mixture contains milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1 3 is to 1 and 5 is to 2 right this is what the ratio is given the contents of all these three containers are poured into a fourth container and they are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 which is given in the first statement 
find the ratio of milk and water in the fourth container very easy sir i already solved it for two containers this is another extra one container it really does not make any difference 4 plus 1 totally 5 liters is present in first container 3 plus 1 totally 4 is present in second container 4 5 plus 2 totally 7 is present in third container can i say that first they are not in equal ratio first of all make it equal after making it equal multiply 3 is to 4 is to 5 for that equal ratio so that the final will become 3 is to 4 is to 5 why because 1 is to 1 is to 1 multiplied with 3 is to 4 is to 5 is nothing but equal to 3 is to 4 is to 5 itself that means first make it as 1 is to 1 is to 1 5 4 and 7 you should make it as 1 is to 1, 1 is to 1 lcm is 5 into 4 into 7 right lcm is 5 into 4 into 7 that means 5 should be made as 5 into 4 into 7 multiply by 4 into 7 multiply this value by 4 into 7 4 should be made as 4 into 7, 5 into 4 into 7 multiply 3 is to 1 by 5 into 7 i believe you are understanding 7 should be made as 5 into 4 into 7 multiply this ratio with 5 into 4 but this when i multiply this with these values i will get it as equal ratio but question says they should not be equal they should be mixed in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 so multiply first value by 3 second value by 4 third value by 5 now if you observe carefully in all the three values 4 is there cancel that 4 ratio in each of the case that means 4 is to 1 i am multiplying with 21 what is that 21 7 into 3 is 21 itself 4 into 21 is nothing but 84 1 into 21 is nothing but 21 next 3 is to 1 i am multiplying with 7 into 5 35 3 into 35 is 105 1 into 35 is 35 next 5 is to 2 I am multiplying with 5 into 5, 25. 25 into 5 is 125. And then 2 into 25 is 50. Resultant in the fourth container is 84 plus 105 plus 125. It is 314. 21 plus 35 plus 50. It is 106. Which can be further divided by 2. Which is nothing but 157 is to 53 answer for this question is 157 is to 53 there is no difference sir it is only until you understand you will struggle once you understand you will start loving it until you understand definitely you are going to struggle but after you understand it i am sure that you will start loving the concept sir Another question for your better understanding. These all the questions I want to repeat it to one or two or three questions, similar model, so that my students will not face any problem. See here, three containers A, B, C are having mixture of milk and water in the ratio 1, 5, 3, 5 and 5, 7 respectively. That means it is given as 1 is to 5, 3 is to 5, 5 is to 7. That means first mixture is 1 plus 5, 6. Second is 3 plus 5, 8. Third is 5 plus 7, 12. LCM, first of all, okay, let me read the next statement first of all. If the capacities of three containers are in the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 5, they don't want you to make it in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 and stop it. They actually want you to mix it in the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 5. So, first make it as 1 is to 1 is to 1 multiply with this 5 is to 4 is to 5 so that finally it will be 5 is to 4 is to 5 find the ratio of milk and water if all the three mixtures are if the mixture of all three containers are mixed together now see here first of all let us make 1 is to 1 is to 1 it is not in 1 is to 1 is to 1 as of now it is in the ratio 6 is to 8 is to 12 
6 is to 8 is to 12 should be made as 1 is to 1 is to 1. That means can I say that LCM of 6, 8 and 12 is it is 24. Right? It is 24. First make it as 24. 6 should become 24. Multiply by 4. 8 should become 24. Multiply by 3. 12 should become 24. Multiply by 2. Now, I made it equal at this point of a time. It is 24 is to 24 is to 24 as of now, which is equal ratio. But I don't want it equal. I want it to be in the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 5. Multiply first one by 5, second one by 4, third one by 5. Simple logic and no ratio can cancel. In, in fact, this can cancel out if you want to cancel. 2 into 1, 2 into 2, 2 into 2. That means... 1 is to 5 should be multiplied with 2 into 5 10. So it becomes 10 is to 50. Right? It becomes 10 is to 50. Next, 3 is to 5 should be multiplied with 3 into 2, which is 6. 3 into 6 is 18. 5 into 6 is 30. Next, 5 is to 7 should be multiplied with only 5. So it is 5 into 5 25, 7 into 5 35. Final ratio is 10 plus 18, 28, 28 plus 25 is 53, 50 plus 30, 80, 80 plus 35 is, it is 115, right, 80 plus 35 is 115, answer is 53 is to 115. People who think that they want to sleep on a Saturday morning missing this class, let them sleep. Let them do whatever they wish to. I really will not care. I will not even fight with my finance team with now onwards. Sir. I had fought enough for your good. But I know how to take care or how to cut short you people from now onwards. Sir. I will take care of my students for how much ever extent it needs to be taken care of. I will not go beyond my limits from now onwards. There are times where I prepared so many beautiful questions till midnight, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock when I had a class of 6.15 a.m. I slept at 2 o'clock so many times. Yes, in fact, yesterday midnight also I slept at 2 o'clock only because I was seeing a cricket match. But this is not the scenario I am seeing right now. I am seeing a scenario where I slept at 2 o'clock, 2.45, 2.30 so many times to prepare some excellent questions for my students. But I am understanding that is okay. Students are students only. They will take care of themselves. They know how to respond when it is only required to be responded. That's okay. Where second ratio is 3 is to 1 Arvind? It is given in the question as 3 is to 5, right? From where are you thinking it as 3 is to 1? Please see the next question. There are three mixtures containing milk and water. That is the first statement. Okay. Milk and water is present. Three mixtures. So, question says, in first mixture, milk is 37.5 percentage of total mixture. That means, let me write it on the right side of the screen. In my first mixture, milk is 37.5 percent. 37.5 is 3 by 8. 37.5 percentage of total mixture. That means, whatever comes after of should be there in the denominator. Total is 8 liters in the first mixture. Off is a direct comparison. The other parameter is milk. Milk is nothing but the numerator. That means total is 8 liters. Total is 8 liters. Out of that milk is 3 liters. That means the remaining 5 should be water only, right? Because there are only 2 parameters, milk and water. The remaining parameter should be water only. Remaining 5 should be water. Next. In the second mixture, milk is 
28.56 percentage less than water that means in my second mixture mixture 2 i told you that 28.5714 percentage is 1 by 7 that means milk is 20 sorry 2 by 7 sir not 1 by 7 milk is 2 by 7 less than water milk is 2 by 7 less than water that means after than whatever is coming that should be there in the denominator water is 7 so put water value 7 for second mixture and numerator is 2 whenever it is than than is a difference comparison difference is 2 or in simple language milk is 2 by 7 less than water that means if water is 7 milk is 2 units less than water 2 units less than water means milk should be 5 units so total of 705 it is nothing but 12 in the second mixture and in the third mixture the ratio of milk and water is 5 is to 4 no headache in the third mixture directly they have given as 5 is to 4 5 plus 4 is 9 now listen carefully sir listen carefully can i say that can i say that if 12.4 liters of first mixture 15.5 liters of second mixture and 9.3 liters of third mixture are mixed together or in other words i can say that all the three mixtures whatever i wrote in ratio format right now they are mixed in the ratio of 12.4 liters is to 9.3 liters sorry 15.5 liters is the second mixture right 15.5 liters is to 9.3 liters the three mixtures are finally mixed in the ratio 12.4 is to 15.5 is to 9.3 12.4 is nothing but 12.4 is nothing but it is four times of 3.1 15.5 is 5 times of 3.1, 9.3 is 3 times of 3.1. That means they all are mixed in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 3. Instead of giving directly, they are giving like that at 12.4, 15.5 and 9.3. So that you will get confused. So if all these three mixtures are mixed in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 3, find the ratio of milk and water in the new mixture. Now see here sir, forget about this 4 is to 5 is to 3 that we will do it later on. First let us make equal ratio 8, 12 and 9, 8, 12 and 9, they are not equal, 8, 12 and 9 they are not equal, first make it as equal. LCM of 8, 12 and 9 is 72. 8 should become 72. Multiply by 9. 12 should become 72. Multiply by 6. 9 should become 72. Multiply by 8. 9 into 8 is only 72. Now when I multiply with 9, 6 and 8, they are becoming equal ratio. But I don't want it to be equal according to the question. They should be in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 3. Multiply this by 4. Multiply this by 5. Multiply this by 3. Simple logic sir. If I can further simplify this ratio. This can be further simplified as 3 into 1. 3 into 2. 3 into 3. Right. 3 into 3. Now again. Can I again further simplify. This is 2 into 1. 2 into 2, 2 into 4. That means uh, this is nothing but first value. I am writing here in the middle of the screen. First value of 3 is to 5. You should multiply with which number? You should multiply with 3 into 2, 6. 3 into 6 is 18. 5 into 6 is 90. Sorry, 5 into 6 is 30. Next, this 2 is also cancelled here. Only thing left to be multiplied is with 5. 5 into 5 is 25. 7 into 5 is 35. Next, 4 is written here. 3 is cancelled. Only thing you should multiply is with 4. 5 into 4 is 20. 4 into 4 is 16. Final mixture ratio is 18 plus 25 plus 20. It is nothing but 63. 30 plus 35 is 65. 65 plus 61, 16 is 81. 63 is to 81 can be further simplified as 7, 9 into 7, 9 into 9. Final answer is 
सेवन एच टू नाइन Download our revolutionary app for free AMC.